Jesus is the one. Christ said there is only one God. He said that Christ said Allah is God. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, what are we doing today, Hatun? It's a book of Hebrews, chapter 12. Okay, okay. The hero of Israel, the Lord thy God, is only one Lord. In the book of Deuteronomy 6 4, it says, My Israel, yes. And I have created it. There is only one God. Who is this one God? This is Allah. Amen. It is the eternal word of God. The eternal word of God, yes. And unchanged. Unchanged. Amen. In Islam, they got the eternal word of God. The Bible is changed. Yes. In the book of Jesus, I said, in the book of Jeremiah, I said, Jeremiah, in verse 8. Jeremiah 8 verse 8. Yes. He says, How do you say we are wise? And the Lord, the Lord is with us. No, is worthy in vain. He is the pen of the Christ in vain. And the uncorrupted. Amen. The same yesterday, today, and forever. No, they have rejected the words of the Lord is in vain. And the book of Isaiah 8 verse 20. To the Lord, to the testimony. Is there still a voice of the Lord? There is no Muslims, we're asking a question today. How was the Quran compiled in the beginning? Zachariah, how was your Quran compiled? Do you know how the Quran was compiled? I don't think he knows. So you can understand that the Quran is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Exactly. We got another Muslim there who's engaging with someone else, but yeah. The Bible is Yes, let's go with it. Yes. Yep. Yes. Abu Bakr, it says, All oh, you beasts of the field come to the bow, they of the beasts of the forest. These what you are blind, and they are all they don't have it, yes. And they are dumb dogs, and they can't even bark, nor see the lion down to slumber. We are greedy dogs, we never have enough. And all the shepherds, they cannot understand. Look to their own way to everyone. Yes. Oh, it's all in quarter. The full team mark, chapter 7, mark chapter 7, verse 6 to verse 9. It says, he answered and said to them, well, have Elias promised. Does anyone want to listen to this guy? They don't want to listen to you, Zachariah. No one wants to listen to you, Zachariah. We're doing the sign of manuscript. So calm down, sir. Let's go. Let's talk about that. Yes. Big time. Yeah. Is not complete nope. at the time of Muhammad. Nope. You know, Quran is not completed in seven centuries. And the Quran is the same as the Sahih Sahih. Most of the Sahih Sahih. 1924, officialized Cairo Quran. Yes. Of course, we should say some many secrets. They don't have the many secrets from the time of the Quran. No, they don't. Because according to the Islamic tradition, when the Quran compiled the second Quran, he said that the one person Oh, there's only one person. 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 There's only one person.
their own their own Bible. Yep, they want your Bible. They want to find another Bible. Baghdad, Basra, Jerusalem. This is on top of my head. Yes. What did he do to the rest? Yes, 2017. What happened? What happened to them? Alright, everyone. After Muslims, please answer questions. Are you a Muslim brother? You're Muslim? No Muslim, okay. My brother, can you answer? Say that again, say that again. They want to look at the earliest manuscripts and then see if those earliest manuscripts are able to support the current world. It's are decided from centuries to centuries. But what is talking about the writing of the four Quran. Okay, what is the earliest manuscript? What do we call them? Oh, Abbas! Come forward, come here. He's not answering. We need good Muslims. He says many will come on that day. The earliest Quranic manuscript. And thou shalt prophesy them to do good words and good deeds. But Jesus will answer. That's why. And says, go away from me, you workers. That's the earliest, yeah? This is not Quran. Yeah. This is Quran. Yeah. Islamic yeah. Dawah yeah. yeah. is not his fear. Yeah. What are the earliest manuscripts? What is worth it? It is the family. Are you Christian Dawah? Are you Christian Not Dawah. Are you? Are you? Are you? Let's show you Matthew chapter 5 verse 4. Matthew chapter 5 verse 4. Matthew chapter 5 verse 4. Hello, work for. show you the Sign a manuscript. All right. The Paris. Paris. No one's listening to you. Why are you wasting your time? And then you got the money in Mali. You know more than me. Mali, 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 Mali. And Jesus said unto them, and then you got the money in Cairo. Love thy neighbor. I love thy enemies. I do good unto them. No, no, no. Love thy enemies. I do good unto them. Why don't you follow Jesus? Sana. Jesus. Sana. Sana. Sana manuscript. Of Luke 1927. No, 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 no. We'll go with the Sana manuscript, yeah? Let's go for it. I don't know. I said I don't know. It is Sana. Sana manuscripts. No. Yeah, go on, go on. But both my enemies which would not I to reign over them, bring either and say them before me. Those that do not say your Jesus, peace and blessings upon him. Watch it into his bring that and slay the brother of me. Allah was God. That is in your own Bible. That is in your own Bible. That is in your own Bible. Which is the exact same Quran but they've got the son of many secrets in the book of Joshua. You have to rely on the manuscripts. Wow, we don't rely on the manuscripts. Man to man. Okay, okay. So, so, the one you have right now, the one you're reading, the Quran you're reading right now, that's also came with the water by, by the knowledge, by the, by the people, the memory of people. Are you sure about that? Yeah, Do you have the sources for that? So the Do you have the sources source. for that? Well, the priest and blue with the trumpets. And it came to pass. The source. When the people heard the sound of the trumpets, and the people shouted with a great shout, and the wall fell down, and the people went into the city. It's called research. 
and they took my city and I yeah. destroyed all oh, that was in the city. Men and women, young and old and old. Memorization, yeah? The edge of the soul. The edge of the soul. You are a Dawati, come on. Much better than Muhammad. Knows much better than Khalifa Abu Bakr. Knows much better than Uthman because according to them, translation was not reliable. Recitation was not reliable. Therefore, did you get that? So you're saying we don't rely on them? Yes, we do. No, 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 you're wrong. And women, if you fuck it, often, and sheep, and camel, and asses, through the memory of the Oh, is that what happened in the beginning? Oh, oh, is that what happened in the beginning, Abbas? All right, sorry. I'm not going to interject. According to Islamic Dawah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, if you burn all the Quranic manuscripts, yeah. all the written version of the Quran, because of the people's memorization, they will all come out. No, no, they don't even know your Bible. You don't even know your Bible. You don't even know your Bible. You don't even know your Bible. By the memory of the people, by the memory of the people, even though you put the Quran in the grave, or even though you burn the Quran, you will still have it. He is the person. Will you have the Quran? Will you have the Porsche Quran? Will you have the Glorious Quran? Will you have the Kabul Quran? They are We show it week after week here. Which you know what you call are you going to no, have? It's, it's there are ten different no, half scrolls out there. Yeah. But Which one will you take? People, Can you, you be honest if I ask you something? Can you clarify one thing with me? Sure. Okay. Please be honest. I'm sure you are as a Christian. You follow honesty. What's your question? My question is this. Among the differences, does any of the Quran have more words than the other? More what? More what? Verses. Verses. Verse. If any of this Quran, be honest, say, have more words than the other? That's not what we're saying. That's not what we're saying. No, no, I'm Yes or no? No, that's not what we're saying. You want to respond? I'm asking you. Okay, she's going to respond. Is Samit Dawatim is asking the question? No, Abbas, Abbas. Is Samit Dawatim is asking the question? His name is Abbas. Abbas. Asking the question. Islamic Dawatim. No, I did it. There are 31 different Arabic Qurans and 7 different half Musafs and 3 or 1 different half Qurans. Do they have different number of the verses? That's the question. That's the question. Wait. Is the answer? No, 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 no. Do they have more or less? We heard you. We heard you. Yes, we know. Yeah. His answer. Yes. There is no word in the eternal word of Allah. Allah tells us Quran must be one of the fourteen chapters, six thousand two hundred twenty-six verses. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Only the verses how many chapters needs to be in the Quran? When you look at the early Islamic prophets, you know, in the Prophet, different number of the chapters. In the Muslim, a different number of the chapters. Yes, he did. They all don't give a number of the chapters. That is not a good question. Okay, how many? Allah is silent. How many chapters? How many chapters did he have? that's what we're doing. Originally, it's about the Son of Manuscript. I don't know the meaning of hogwash. I am going to talk about Son of Manuscript. I didn't ask a question. A possible, can I, can I, can I, can I, sir, I've got the team here. I'm going to ask uh, a question are, on the no, Son of Man. Are you Islamic now? I'm going to ask a question on the Son of Man. Let's talk about the Son of Manuscript, brother. Preaching. This is what Hogwarts evidence. 
No, we don't want to divert. We're diverting. Let's talk about this and we, we will answer your question. question was, do you have different manuscripts? Among them, is any have more words than the other? We're going to show you. You say Allah didn't bring the numbers. I didn't ask the question. Did Allah bring the numbers? I said the one Qur'an you have, among them, any Qur'an have more verses than the other. That was the question. Yes. And the honest answer was? Yes. No. No, yes. No, we'll show you here. Okay, we'll go through the Sana manuscripts. Let's go through that and we'll show you the verses. This is one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts. Okay. When you look at the Arabic, this is from the Sana manuscripts. Where's your Qurans going? You carry your Qurans all the time. Where are the Qurans? This is it. I know, I want to see the Quran. No, let's go. Let's, I don't know what is this. I don't know what is this. I want to see the Quran. Show me the Quran. Of course, Islamic Dawatim doesn't know what is this. You can turn it around for him. Turn it around for him. Why are you giving me a Fail label? I never say I'm Islamic. Fail Dawati. to have the dots for the consonantal letters. Oh, where is your Quran? Therefore, your Islamic Dawati okay. can not read it. This my... is from the Sana Manuscript. Is it okay now? Yeah? Yes. I'm so glad you called me a pastor. I'm Islamic Dawati. You see, you're growing in wisdom. Can I thought, I congratulate you. Can you read this? I, no, I can't read this now. So, Islamic Dawati is not able to read it. Quranic medicine is for us. It's all right. You are not a woman of your word. Because you need to be expert to be able to read it. It doesn't have the dots on it. No, it doesn't. As today, we look at the earliest Quranic medicine. We are going to look at the son of many secrets and we want Islamic Dawah him or the Muslims to answer our questions. I didn't know that. Answer our questions regarding the earliest Quran. So, you are not able to read this, that's understandable. I can try it, let me try it. It doesn't have the consonantal letters, so you need to read it. It doesn't say that. I know you How do you know that? How do you know that? Because I know you can say you that at the beginning of every single time. So, okay, show me his name. Are you lying? Yeah. Yeah. Mamas, I can see it from your face. Prove me I'm, I'm lying. Prove me I'm lying. I can't believe this. Prove me I'm lying. Yes. As Islamic Dawati read this earliest Quranic manuscript as uh, what was your first phrase? Uh, what did you say? Uh, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. As he puts the Shahada as part of the earliest Quranic manuscripts, La ilaha illallah Muhammad and Abdul and Rasulullah. We see Islamic Dawati makes the biggest corner lies. No, show me. Show this me. Show me a lie. The Shahada is in there. No, show me a lie. No, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Yeah, that's the Shahada. It's in the Quran. It's no way. Quran. It's not in the Quran. Show me. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, no, no. Are you sure it's not in the Quran? Okay. Does the Quran say La ilaha illallah? Does that contain La ilaha illallah? No. No. What did you say? Brother. What did he say? Said, he said the full Lala. sentence. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Is that in the Quran? It's in the Quran. All right. We're going to expose you. No. It is in the Quran. I am asking you to read this. You try and you lie. Where did we need a lie? It doesn't say prove that, me that a lie. I checked it out which surah is this. Prove, prove me that a lie. We're going to show you. Show me. Say prove that. It to me. So, prove it to me a lie. So, since this does not say that, and I understand, for, for you to be able to read the earliest Quranic manuscripts, you need to be expert on the fields because look, it is look, 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 constant what is that? It doesn't say lie, lie, lie. It doesn't say that. I it's a lie, lie. Are you Don't sure? push it. I'll check it out. Oh, well, you just gave I, it I, I'll give you which surah a little bit later. Okay. Because I wrote it out. So, as you are not able to read this, that's fine. Okay? Wow. But There are some words I can read, but, but not everything. But we've got the Muslim scholars who are able to read, look at the earliest manuscripts and tell us what is it in it. Especially when you talk about the Son of Manuscripts, there is a Son of Manuscripts, DAM 27 which is well known as the son of Palamsis. You know what is that thing, sir? Palamsis, yeah, those who attack the son of Palamsis. Eh? Oh, that's Palamsis. Okay, it's not from there. Okay, fair enough. Okay, what is I never, I never heard that term before. Okay. What that means? Brother, do you know what is Palamsis? Yes, the underwritings and the overwriting. So, right, right. overwritings right. on the I'll manuscripts. Give you an example. So, you've got another son of Manuscripts here. If you look at the picture, you've got the dark writing, 
dark script and then also you got very light color writing so it is called palaces because you've got underwriting which has been washed away and then they rewrite on it i understand the point i heard that what is your point here what are you trying to say? well yeah, we're going to show you oh what is the point yeah. we're introducing so it to you as we are asking i know this thing i heard about it what, so what you heard it? about it so yeah. i am sure you are able to answer some questions yeah i can yeah. i can so, i can i can reason with that as well yeah, yeah. you can reason that yeah. so as we are asking the question where is their earliest concrete crown from the 7th century at the time of Muhammad? Yeah. Even the time of Uthman, yeah. because we're supposed to have nine crowns, yet we don't have it in it. When people look at the Salah manuscripts, when they look at the law writing, they came to the conclusion. It is not complete, it is changed, and it is corrupted. Yeah. So, your earliest Quran, which is dated to the 7th century, not complete, changed, and not the same Quran you are reading today, so what is your reasoning for that? No, I, I, will, I, will. I will try, try to unpack right, what you just claiming. How old? Tell me how old the Sana manuscript is. It's just seventh century. Okay, give me the date. How old? Because I don't know about that. You don't know what is your earliest date for the Sana I just say I don't know. I'm not expert on that. Let me help you. Let me help you. At least, at least you're honest. You've got a couple of Sana manuscripts. Right. The one I am talking about. Give me the oldest one. The oldest one. The one I am talking about. The M27, which known as a Sana palimpsest. Under writing, we, we heard about that. Give me the date. Sir, oh, I'm your question. Question. I ask you a date. You already explained that to me. Sir, under writing, you already explained. Okay, I'm giving you the date. All right. So, when you look at the under writing and the over writing, there is 50 years difference between them. Under writing is for sure not from the time of Uthman, but it is dated in late 7th century. It is dated 7 centimeters. Top right. So it could be 50 years after Uthman. If it is 50 years after Uthman, it will be 699. Top writing, upper writing, is dated in 8 centimeters. So there is different, different I years, I 50 understand. years gap between so them. So the earliest so, one is about 40 years after Uthman. For, yeah, late earliest centimeters. writing is dated after Muhammad. Sorry, after Uthman. Uthman. It is not Uthmanic manuscript. And it is dated in 7th. Okay. So, so what late seventh century. So we understand, we understood. The earliest Sana manuscript. Sana Palances. Sana Palances is roughly, roughly 50 to 60 years after Muhammad B. Yeah? Uthman. 50, 50. No, Muhammad B. I can't, I can't because, give you the date. Because, because Uthman was 20 years after Muhammad B. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, talking about after 50 years of uh, Prophet's passing. Yeah? So, you are saying it's around yeah, okay. 680. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 600. Okay. Now, what we are saying is, you you claiming making an argument like this? Sana manuscript is the only source for the early Muslims. I'm not that, saying that. Why I'm not saying that. Why not even speak? I am not saying that because you just. I am making again. my point. Let me make my point. You, you made your no, point. No. Let me make my point. Yeah. It's not fair. Not but you I, made you made an you incorrect point. Every time. I listen to you. I didn't cut you every time. I'm not gonna allow you to lie again because you just practice. She won the argument, I lost the argument. I love so, it. No, but what? No, 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 where are you going? Don't talk. Every time I talk, you cut but, me in. Sir, if you want to win the argument, you want the argument. Sir, I have no clue what I'm talking about. Fair enough. Is no, I'm, I'm not going to carry on that. That's fine. All right. Information Islamic Dawatim gives us incorrect. I never said Sana is the only manuscript they have. Sana is the uh, Sana Palamsis is one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts Muslims have. Yep. Yet it does not match with the current Quran we are reading today. It is uncomp it is not complete, it is changed, and it does not match with the half Quran we are reading. No. Overall, when you look at the Son of Palamses, you will see some of many secrets are putting the half Quran in the grave once again. So let's look at the problems yes. with earliest many secrets of the Quran. Yep. So when you look at the Son of Palamses, the AM27 has 38 pages, has 38 lists. They are written back, uh, two sides. When you look at the underwriting, 
Brother, how many surahs is in the underwriting? Nine surahs. So it contains nine surahs. Yep. Are they complete? Nope. No. Some verses begin and then it goes to... Chapters. Yeah, some chapters begin and it goes to a different verse and then it goes to another verse. We're going to show some of them here. Okay. Are they in the chronological order? No, they're not. The Muslims are reading with the current Quran? No, they're not. So, it is not complete. It does not go with the chronological order no. as well. Uh -huh. We get those informations. People wrote lots of books about it. Yeah. But we want to see, okay, in one sense, I can be very generous. And tell Muslims, even though some of Palamsis on the writing does not go in the chronological order Muslims are using today, and even though its chapters are not complete, I want to say, let's look and see if it is exactly the same what Muslims are reading today. Yeah. So, can, can we look at the, some of the examples from the Son of Any Secret? Because there are 38 pages and only 9, nine surahs have been looked at, which is 11 pages back and forward. 11 and pages, yeah. 11 pages. Over 60 variations mm -hmm. in those 11 pages. Yep. That's a lot of variations. Yep. There are a lot of textual variations only within few pages. Let's look at some of them and see what do we have. Okay. So we look at Surah 913. This is what the son of Palamses says. So we look at the Surah 9 verse 13. Yep. So what does it say, sir? This is what it says. Would you not fight? This is the son of Palamses. It says, would you not fight a people who broke their oaths and they were the first to start aggression and they intended to expel the messenger. And then the Cairo version says, would you not fight a people who broke their oaths and determined to expel the messenger and they began their attack upon you the first time. So in the Solomon Secrets, it says, Aggression. No, can you lift your hand? Who broke the oaths and they were the first to start the aggression and they intended to expel the messenger. So when you look at the Solomon, when you look at the Son of Palamsis in Surah 9, verse 13, no Muslims. It, oh, gives you, it gives you different order with what we are reading in the current Quran. Yeah. Because the, the Arabic, the Arabic is different. Yeah. In the current Quran it says who broke their oath and determined to expel the messenger and they began uh, they attack upon, upon you the first time. So order of the sentence is different when you look at the early son of many secrets. Let's look at another example. Uh, this one's not good. Okay, let's see. Let's look at another example. Surah 1565. Surah 15 verse 65. It's 19 page, page 19 of the Son of Palances. Yep, this is what it says. So set out with your family during a portion of the night and follow behind them and let not anyone among you look back and continue to where you command. That's the Son of Palances. So when you look at the one of the earliest many secrets of the Quran, in that it says where you commanded. No, 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 no. It says where you command. Where you command. Yeah, when you very... look at the current Quran. Come here. When you look at the current Quran, this what is, we see? It says where you are commanded. So it is the different sentence in uh, One of them structure. is past tense. One of them is past tense and one, one of, of them is present. present tense. Yeah. Does it change the meaning? Of course yes. it does. This is meaning. Surah 15, Ayah 65. Okay, That's what we just read. At, let's look at another example. Okay. Surah 9, verses 2. It says, So travel freely, O disbelievers, throughout the land four months, but know that they cannot cause failure to Allah and His prophets, and that Allah would disgrace the disbelievers. This is the Son of Palimpsest, Surah 9, Ayah 2. And the Cairo one, the ones they read now, it says, So travel freely, O disbelievers, throughout the land, 
four months, but know that you cannot cause failure to Allah and that Allah would disgrace the disbelievers. So the difference here is they added the prophet, they had the prophet in the Sun of Palimpsest, but in the Cairo one, they've taken it out. So then you look at one of the earliest manuscripts of the Quran in the Sun of Palimpsest for Surah 9 verse 2, you see they said Allah and the prophet, yet when you look at the Cairo Quran, yep. which uh, millions of people are memorizing today, you see they are different from one another. So They've another, taken the prophet out. Another example shows us how the Quran has been changed from the first century of Islam to 14th century of Islam. Yep. From 7th century to the 21st century, how it is it was changed. Yep. They took the phrase and his prophet out from the eternal word of Allah. Let's look at another example. We got Surah 874. It says, but those who have believed and Im immigrated and fought in the cause of Allah with their money and themselves and those who gave shelter and aided. The Cairo one says, but those who have believed and immigrated and fought in the cause of Allah and those who gave shelter and aided. So earliest Quranic manuscript had a phrase, um, money. of Allah with their money and themselves. Yeah. But when you look at the current Quran, which people are memorized today, it says, um, cause of Allah. So they took the phrase with their money and themselves out. I wonder why they took it out. That has, again, it proves it has been changed mm. and corrupted. Yes. When you look at the earliest, one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts from the seventh century, you see it does not match with the current Quran Muslims are reciting today. Yeah. Let's look at another example. Yeah, this one is a very good example. I think this is your favorite one, I think, Hatu. Right? Let's look at it. Surah 9, verses 18. It says, the son of Palimpsest says, the mosques of Allah are only to be maintained by those who believe in Allah and the last day and establish jihad in the name of Allah and do not fear anyone except Allah. And the Cairo version says, the mosques of Allah are only to be maintained by those who believe in Allah and the last day and establish prayer and give zakah and do not fear Allah, uh, do not fear except Allah. So they've taken the jihad part out, maybe to look peaceful and they put prayer and zakah in. We don't know why, but it looks like just to be peaceful. So when you look at the, one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts, yeah. the Son of Palimpsest, for the Surah 9 verse 18, yeah. you see in the beginning Muslims wrote it down as phrase jihad. Yet in 2017, the Quran we are reading today gives us the phrase give the zakah, uh, prayer, prayer and, and zakah. give zakah. So Muslims did change their scripture. Yep. Is that not correct, man? No? Are you trying to say this Quran is exactly the same? How, how can that be? How are you sure? How are you sure about that, madam? We can't hear you. So even even if the facts tell you differently, even if the facts say they have different Qurans, but the facts are telling you that. So, the son of, have you read the Sana manuscript? The Sana manuscript. Do you know about it? <laughs> There's no manuscript. So, as today, as today we talk about the earliest Quranic manuscripts, we tell you what the Muslim scholars tell us. Muslim scholars tell us the Quran people wrote down in the 7th century, Asma Hilali. The Quran Muslims wrote it down in the 7th century versus Quran you are reading has been changed. Yeah. Surah 9 verse 18 is one of the examples for the, they take out the phrase jihad and they put the established prayer, prayer. and give zakat. 
you do not believe that this historical and evidential information because you look at the Quran and Quran yeah, says come closer. the Quran has been uh, Allah is going to protect the Quran. Yeah, it's there, it's in there. Uh, so, no, he wants to look at it. So, Ben. When we introduce the, what the Muslim scholars tell us, who investigate the earliest Quranic manuscripts, they tell us there are the textual variations within them, and then when you investigate these textual variations, you see it does change the theology. Yep. You see, Big time. it does change the meaning of the verse. Big time, yes. But our dear Muslim friend does not want to take our word for that, or she does not want to see evidence for that, because she goes to the current Quran, 1924 Quran, which tells us, which tells us Allah is going to protect the Quran. Do you see there is a logical issue in that, sir? Yes, because they're not going to the earliest manuscript, they're which really the they go into uh, 1924 Quran and to establish their faith and their premises. But we're going to the earliest one, which is Sana. Of as course, go, it's a big problem. The, as we go to the earliest writings, we also see we also see that it has been given to us by Muslim scholars. Yeah. And this is a historical evidence. Yep. So our Muslim friend is in a place of choosing that choose to believe in history or just take a verse blind, of the Quran blind faith. and put her faith on that blind thing. History, blind faith. History versus blind faith. Yeah. It is shame in 2017 people still believe in blind faith. So Big shame. As we look at the Surah 8 verse 19, we Surah saw, 9. Sorry, Surah 9 verse 18. Yeah. Thank you. We saw early Sana manuscripts in the Sana palaces, and the writing tells us there is a theological issue. Take the jihad out, put the establish the prayer, and give the zakat. Yep. We got another example here. Let's, Shall I read let's it? Let's give another example. Surah, Surah 291. It says, when it is said to them, believe in what Allah has revealed, they say, we believe in what was revealed to us in books. This is the Sana Palmasist. In the Cairo, it says, when it said to them, believe in what Allah has revealed, they say, we believe in what was revealed to us. So the book spot has been taken out again. So when you look at the early Sana, Sana manuscripts yeah. and the writing of the Sana Palamses, yeah. you see they washed away, revealed to us in books, the phrase in books. Yep. In Cairo, Cairo Quran, 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 Muslims are reading, the phrase books is not there. Yep. Why not? Why not? Who Muslims, has the power? we need the answer for that. Who has the power to transform and corrupt and edit it and take it away from the eternal word of God? Those changes have been done intentionally. Maybe it's not the eternal word of God. For sure it's not the eternal word of God, but Muslims believe that is the eternal word of God. Mm. The more disturbing part is, this changing has been done intentionally exactly. to officialize and canonize the Quran in 8th century. Yeah. That's 700, approximately 100 years after death of Muhammad. Yeah. Let's look at another example, brother. Surah 288. This is a very good one as well. It says, when they said our hearts are wrapped, but Allah has cursed them for their injustice, so little is it that they believe. And then in the Cairo one, it said, and they said our hearts are wrapped, but in, the, in fact, Allah has cursed them for their disbelief, so little is it that they believe. So injustice in the first one, Sana Palimpsis, in the Cairo is disbelief. Two different meanings. So when you look at the one of the earliest manuscripts of the Quran under the Sana Palamses, you see the Loa text tells us injustice yeah. versus current Cairo text tells us this 
disbelief. disbelief. There is a difference between injustice and disbelief. Indeed. This, according to Muslims, I am a disbeliever. Yeah. I don't believe in Allah yeah. and I don't believe in Muhammad. Mm -hmm. But according to Muslims, I can be justice. Of course you can. That, that would be the question. If justice it's, is what you do. Yeah, justice is what you do. Justice is what you... Yeah. So injustice is when you when you accuse someone of the what they haven't done. Yeah. Disbelief is someone who doesn't believe. So there are theological differences. But be, beside that, when you look at the earliest one of the earliest Quran, go, go, go. you see there is a textual variations within that, and then you see these textual variations has been done intentionally. Yep. In the 8th century, Thomas still until 1924. Yep. That you see, it does change the theology of um, Quranic teaching. Islam. Uh, yes, it does change the theology of Islam. And injustice versus disbelief. They are two different things. Jesus. I, do you want to answer questions, Zakaria? Come here. Answer some questions here. That's it. As you can see, people, we have the Islamic Dawah team who cannot answer simple questions. So when we look at the, one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts, yeah. the Sana manuscripts, palaces, underwriting and overwriting, we see underwriting confirms that the current Quran Muslims are reading was different what people wrote it down in 7th century. Yep. Remember, underwriting, lower writing is dated in 7th century. Yep, late. Upper writing, upper writing is dated in 8th century. And when we look at the upper writing again, we see even the upper writing does not match with the current Quran Muslims are reading. Yep, different what? meanings. Why? We don't Why know. We need Muslims to answer that. Do you have any more relations? Yes, we got Surah 9 verses 11. Yeah. It says, but if they repent, establish prayer and give zakah, then they are your brothers in religion and Allah details the verses for people who know. And then, in the Cairo one, it starts the same, but if they repent, establish prayer and give zakah, then they are your brothers in religion and we detail the verses for people who know. So in Sana Mani Secret, Sana Palamsis, which was one of the earliest Quran Muslims from the 7th century, yeah. uncomplete and changed, tells us it was Allah who details the verses, yet in the current Quran, it is we detail the verses. Who's we here, they take, Muslims? They take the phrase Allah out Why and they put the... Why you are talking about... I'm Christian, I'm talking about the Quran because I'm concerned for the soul. Do you want to know the answer? Do you want to know the answer? I'm just observing. You're Christian. Yeah, but do you want to know the answer? You're asking a question. No, it's okay, sir. How many people do you see here? How many people do you see? How many Muslims do you see here? How many percent Muslims do we have here? Look around you, sir. Come on. There are more Muslims here. We've got another example. If the one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts, Sana Palamsis, is exactly the same, with the current Quran Muslims are reading today. Brother, have you got another example? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got so many. Surah 9, Ayah 125. It says, But as for those in whose hearts is disease, Increased in them evil, and they will have died while they are sinner. This is the Sana Palimsis. The Cairo version says, But as for those in whose heart is diseased, today evil, and they will have died while they are disbelievers. Two different meanings. What Sinners. Is the difference between sinner and disbeliever? You can be a sinner. As, as Muslims, you can be a sinner, but you're not a disbeliever. Am I right? Exactly, so Sana Palimpsis says sinner, but the Cairo one, the one you're reading in 1924 says disbeliever. 
So two different meanings you have. Hey brother, we're showing you. You want to know Arabic? Okay. Do you speak Arabic? Do you read Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? I'll go and get someone. Where's the Arabic? Oh, you don't know Arabic. <laughs> yes, we do. She's reading it. She's, she's reading it. She's reading it now. Listen. Do you know Hebrew? Do you know Hebrew? Do you know Greek? Wait. No, you don't. It's in the Sunday and the In the current Quran is for whom? Kafurun. Kafurun versus Fasukun. So there are two. That's the Arabic. Arabic word. One of them is Sina. Other one is the disbeliever. That's the Kafurun. That's translated as that Kafurun is disbeliever. So that's translated as Sina. So what? Then obviously translations wrong. I don't think you heard what we said. Arabic word. Are oh, are you a Muslim, mate? <laughs> That's... Are you a Muslim, sir? Yo. No, but are you a Muslim? No, I'm not saying that. We're just asking. Okay. She read the Arabic to you. Two different Arabics. Disbelievers. Okay, what is Fasi called? Translated by Arabic speakers. Yeah. Here's you're the thing. Trans you're translating it yeah. as disbeliever. Yeah. I translate disbeliever as well. Okay, what is the other one? The other one. And you're reading it as sinner. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You see, you're not listening. You're not listening. No, no, let me explain this to you. You're not listening. The Sana Palimcist says Fasi Kun. The Cairo one, which is sinner, the Cairo one, which is the Quran they currently read, says disbeliever. Two different. So the earliest manuscript is different from the one they read now. Do you get it? Okay, so we are looking at, we are Sir, looking at the two yeah. Qurans. Okay, okay, listen, listen. First. We are looking at the two Qurans. We are looking at the Quran. One of the Quranic manuscripts, which is identified as the Sana manuscript. Yeah, the Sana. Sana down to and the seventh. Okay, Sana Palamsis. In Sana Palamsis, which is dated seventh century, okay, in that it has been written as Sina. Yeah. But the current Quran you are reciting today as a Muslim, you've got the phrase written as a disbeliever. We are saying there are two different verses and meanings are. I'm not translating anything, I'm just telling what the Arabic says and what is the translation for that. So it confirms they are different. You understand? So my question is, I've been around the world, that's the only time language you've spoken. That's what that is. The one that's the other. The same thing that you're talking about. We're reading both. We are comparing. I don't think this guy is getting it. We are comparing the Arabic, okay? Which is written in seventh century. Quran is Quran is given to people in pure Arabic. Yeah. Okay? So we are looking at that Arabic. In seventh century, when people wrote it down, they trans they wrote it down as Fasukhun. Fasukhun, yeah. Okay? But so after that, in eighth century, when the Quran again written down, it has been written down as Kafurun. They are two different in the nineteen twenty four. In the 8th century. Yeah. When they are two different Arabic words. They washed away Fasukun, which was in the Surah manuscripts. And in 8th century, when they tried to write the Surah 9 again, Surah 9, 125, it has so been written the, as Kafurun. They are two different Arabic words. Yeah. And they confirm to us today the Quran in 7th century is different than the Quran in 8th century. Quran in 7th century is different than the Quran in 20th century and 21st century. That's the point I'm making. That's the point make. we're making. So there is human intervention. I am not wrong. Human intervention. I am oh, not my brother. Wrong. Those of you who <laughs> want to see the evidence, you go to the Asmat Sali's book, which came out a couple of months ago. Say that again, say that again. Who's it? What's her name? So you go to Asma Hilali. Yep. She, she, she finished her book a yeah. couple of months ago. Yeah. She gave, she's a Muslim scholar. Uh -huh. She's got PhDs. She, write a she, she compared the early Sana manuscripts, uh -huh. underwriting and upper writing to current Quran. And she gives you page after page, page after page, page after page, with the variations with the half Quran. Know? Why we don't know? Why we don't know?
Muslim? Why we don't know them? Why you don't know as a Muslim? That's my good question. Can you prove that to Why me? Muslims are not waking up? Can you prove? When they say, can you prove? Some Show me. I'm Arabic, Arabic and I can read Arabic. Quran. Exactly. Yeah. When they say like there is a Quran in Sana, there is Quran in Sana. Sana man is secret. So we're asking the Arabic, yeah? The secret is with the Quran you are reading today. Let's ask him the Arabic. It's only a couple of chapters in those passages, and they are different from one another. No different. Do you know you know Arabic, yeah? I know very well Arabic. What does Fasikun mean? Fasikun. Yeah. Bad people. Sorry? Bad people. Sinner. Bad people. Yeah. Like a sinner, yeah? Sinner. Okay. What does kafirun mean? Unbeliever. Are they the same? Uh, no. It depends, it depends on the sentence. Like, no. Depends like, on the context. Like okay. There is a kafirun. difference between sinner and disbeliever. Yeah. So that again? Disbelief is a form of sin. Even though in Christianity is Yeah, but a Muslim, a Muslim yeah. can be a sinner, not a, a, dis, a sinner, but not a disbeliever. Right? Kafirun is more than. Uh, sinner. Disbelief. Disbelief. More than. Kafirun is more than disbelief. Okay, let me respond to okay. that. Let me respond to that. All right, go on. In Christianity, according to my scripture, I am a sinner, but I am a believing Christian. I believe Lord Jesus died on the cross for me. None of the, my Christian brothers will call me as a disbeliever, but I will look at the Muslim, I will tell Muslim, because my scripture tells me, everyone born in the sin, we are all sinners, you are sinners, but I can call you, you are disbeliever, because you do not believe in Jesus. So, sin is an action you do, believe is a, something you believe on, so they are two different things. You can be sinner and disbeliever, you can be sinner and believer, so they are two different things. So you get that? It has nothing to do with the context. Sorry? Sorry? Sin is an action. A, a so, person can sin, yes. A so, person can sin. You can believe in sin, we know that. You can okay. disbelieve in sin. Okay, let me ask you a question. Sir, killing someone is a disbelieving or sin? Sin. Killing someone, no. If you kill someone in sin, that's done nothing wrong. No, no, no. That's a very simple question. Killing if you kill so, someone, that's killed someone else. It's not sin. It's not sin. So, is the killing someone is a sin or disbelieving? Somebody innocent has done nothing wrong for no reason that is a sin. If you kill someone, that's killed someone else. Okay. Oh man. It's a simple question. So, killing someone is a sin. It's action. This one is a sin. But that's it. That's it. It has rules. It has rules. No, no. Say it how you want to say it. No, no. Okay. According to Muslims, they can justify, they can justify killing someone is sin or not. But taking the life of someone is a sin. But, so, let, let me make my point and then I'll give you time. Killing someone, according to you, if that person is innocent, is a sin. Okay? Is that person, is that still sin if that person has been killed by someone who believes in Allah? Does the belief has, it, does the belief has anything to do with it? No, no, there is a difference between That was a simple question. When you hear something, when you hear someone use, you just believe it or believe it. And there were a sin, where is an action? When an act, if you kill someone, you... That's my point. That's, That's my what point. she's saying, yeah. Sinners and disbelief are two different things. Yep. In yes. earliest earliest manuscripts, which, which is the Sana manuscript. In 7th century, yeah. it was a sinner, and in 8th century, when it, when it is written down, it has been translated as disbelief. They are two different things. So it proves my point that your earliest Quran tells you your Quran has been changed and corrupted. No, no, not question. Let me finish my point and then I'll give you time to ask me a question. So, let's just summarize. We look at the one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts. 
Yep. Son of Manasikra. Yep. As a son of Palancis. On the writing, on the writing is between on the writing and upper writing there is 50 years gap. On the writing is dated 7th century. Upper right writing is dated 8th century. We gave you some examples how the sentence, how the verses theologically changed. How people thought it was all right to change the Quran, which is... I'm summarizing. Hold on a minute, sir. How the people thought it was all right to change the Quran, yeah, which the current Quran you are reading today. Asma Khan, As, sorry, Asma Hilali published listen, listen, her book. No, no, this is Asma Hilali published in her book, Variations After Variations, in the Son of Manuscript, as the writing yeah, Asma Hilali. versus upper writing. Wait, tell him Asma Listen Hilali, scholar. he wants to know. Never, never, never. Listen, scholars, Asma Hilali. Do you know Asma Hilali? Bring it, you bring it, I believe. Okay. If you bring it, I will believe. If you don't bring it, as you talk, she's you going to bring it. She's going to bring it. bring it. Wait, I'm ready. Calm I'm, down, I sir. She's taking it out. Only one Quran, I believe. Everybody knows. Okay, do you know Asma Hilali? Do you know her? I, I've heard of him, yeah. Okay. No, her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she. Uh, I don't know her. Without any shame, without any shame, you are still telling us there is only one Quran. That's the different topic. I'm not talking about it. This is the book published by a Muslim, Asma Hilali. She's qualified to do it. She's just because she's Muslim doesn't mean it's okay. She is still Muslim. She has been qualified. Yeah. She has been qualified. Check out her bio. Wow, you're me. Qualified by whose standards? Where, where is she, where is she I from? I am amazed. Where is she I from? am amazed at speaker scholar. When you bring the people, when you bring the scholars, when they disagree with Islamic Dawatim, Have you researched her? Have you researched her though? You're being very inconsistent. Have you researched Asma Hilali? Have you researched her? Have you researched her? Have you researched her? She is a Muslim and she is still Muslim. I can't believe it. Look, I say, I disagree. You're going to say to me from where? Okay, but she's showing you. She's showing you though. She's showing you. No, but you need to listen. But she's showing you and then you claim self saying, where from? Where did she get a degree from? No, because you're lying. No, because you're lying. She is from. Is she? Is that her? Yes. She doesn't look like Muslim even. She is a Muslim. No. Look. Read her biography. I know. We read her biography, brother. Read the biography. You don't look at her face and judge people. You ask what they believe. You don't judge the book by cover because she doesn't cover her. No, 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 no. Is that no, no, no? Or that does make her Muslim or not? That's, you wouldn't know. Her uh, beliefs. You just said that. You just Islamic said that. Islamic beliefs. That's she her belief. She is identified as That's Muslim. That's her belief. As a Muslim, she goes read, to the Quran read, read, read. and checks your earnest manuscript. Look, look. Are you, this is her biography. Do you, do you understand me? If you want no, to prove she her, is if you. Listen, uh, listen, listen. She studied. Not she like studied. this. If you want to prove her, she is right. Uh, bring me the yeah, Quran, the yeah. oldest Quran, yeah, yeah. and the new Quran. Uh, here, and come, I will find here. It. She's showing it. Come, Show come, it to yeah. me. Come, come. Okay, wait. It? Here, come. here it is. I will say to you, I, I believe. Read. David, I, David, I will, zoom, I will, in. David, zoom in. Zoom this in. Yeah, I wanted to zoom it in. No, no, no. From where you are, just zoom it in. So, this is your son of manuscripts, okay? Where is the Quran? Wait, wait, read, read, read that. Give me time. This is your earliest manuscripts, okay? It's called Sana Dam 27. What? This is Quran. Sana Halemsis. Did you know Sana? Sana manuscripts in Yemen, yeah. 1972. Okay? Yeah, yeah. They found a big chunk of the part of the Quran. Yeah. Okay? This is one of them. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's called Dam 27. That's their code. Okay? So if you look at the writings, you see very dark writing. Okay? That's Arabic alphabet, Arabic script. No. This no, is listen, Arabic listen. script. Uh, bring me any Arabic. They can't read it. Nobody can read this. Of course you can't read it. You don't have them, George. 
So how can I believe this is Quran? Wait, just wait. Right, oh, look man. at this man is secret. Also, you see, can you see this um, blue colors? Yeah. They are the underwriting. So when they wrote the Quran, they wrote it on the animal skin. Okay. okay. And then they wrote it. This is not Arabic, my dear. I'm Arabic. Arabic. This is not Arabic, You're my dear. Lying, then. I'm lying? Yes. Why do you think I'm lying? Because, because it is Arabic. Arabic. It has been already qualified as Arabic. I know. You can't I know. Listen, listen. You can't you can do Arabic. Arabic. Look, I'm Arabic, Arabic, Arabic and she's Arabic. Arabic. I can't find the word Arabic in here. Because the current Arabic you are reading, consonantal letters have been Are you Arabic, At the time of Muhammad, they didn't Exactly. That's what she's showing you. They didn't have the dots. Exactly. They wrote the Quran, yeah. and yeah. they never had the dots. Yeah, that's why she's showing you. The you are memorizing now has the dots. Can you different. read that? Can you read that? Can you read that? Um, Can you read what you're showing? Sir, sir, you I'm, read not, that? I'm not an Arabic scholar. So you can't read that? I am not a scholar. Can Look. you read that? Yes, Asma Khilali. Asma Khilali. Show, show, show her one. 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 I'll show you an old Arabic when you look at the underwriting, so when they wrote it down in the first time, okay? Mm. After that they washed it down. Okay? When they wash a picture down, so now they've got a skit, a new skit, and they're gonna rewrite on it. This is the book? Approximately 50 years after, okay, they washed it, yeah. they rewrite it with dark blue colors. Can I tell you something to end the debate actually? Can I tell you something? No, no, wait, wait. Hatun, just open the book, show them. is not a written text. You guys don't even know that. Muslims don't even know that. I'm talking about this white police and the white police and the white police. It's called Son of Palamsi. Right is only right after they write it, they wash it away. Why did they recognize And then they rewrite it. So that's, that's the story. It doesn't make sense. No, just show the book. Just show the book. Just show the book. No, here is the book. Here is the book. My book. People get rid of the earliest Quranic writings and then write something else over it. That's a good question. But Muslims did that. Muslims did that. Here's the pages. Here's some examples. When you look, when, so you have to look at it with a special light, okay? When you look at it with a special light, this is the alphabet you see, okay? When you put that in the verses, this is what comes across. You can see, she can't even read it, but because she's Muslim scholar, she thinks that is this verse. Let me show you more examples. This is what you should do. Look, look at another example. So these are the sides. Tells you, oh, this is where the verse finishes. This is up. This is the sign they put it after okay, every okay, ten verse. You're making yourself really tired. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she's showing you. That she's showing you. Really sense. Oh, she's showing you the book, brother. This is wrong. Who? The lady who wrote this book. Ah, you, you might. You need to write your book, brother. You always say they're wrong. You need to write your own book. Because I can't read the writing. I you can't read one this. word. I've got so many stuff on me. Where she bring this uh, language? I don't mean, know. No. This is different. Uh, you know you can't, you can't you know compare this to Quran. Let me just let me just tell you. Let me just tell you something very very interesting. And you tell me why you are disagreeing with her, okay? <laughs> okay, so, do you mind me or name? My name, Abdullah. Abdullah. Okay, so I'll tell you who she is, okay? And then you tell me why you think she's not qualified. Because Asma, let me read it first, okay? Oh, Asma Hilali, no. by the way, by the way, I am not a, I am not a Muslim. And it is sad. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It is sad. France, Germany, yeah. all against yeah. Islam. Yeah, just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. I am a Christian what? and I am I am amazed that today I have I'll to stand here it. and then defend a Muslim scholar. That's not a good thing. So as a Muslim state, you need to defend your scholar. Like, brother, can you hold on? Yeah, sure. So who is Asma Hilali? She's an author. Asma Hilali is, is a research assistant in the Department of Academic Research and Publications at the Institution of Ismaili Studies. She gave her PhD 
from Paris. That it gives you what is the name of the thing. She gains her PhD from Paris. Dr. Hilali has worked in various research centers in Germany, France, and the United Kingdom. Her main interest is related to the transmission of the religious literature in early and medieval Islam. The issues of how religion takes value oh and what in fact this used in our form and context. And of course, of course, you've got other reasons for it. Who looks at the Quranic manuscripts, for example, Queen, she, they talk very good about her. So she's got very good. Of course, man. You need to go We've been asking you questions. Out. You need to go and check that out. But as you described the scholar, yeah, but why she, did, why she did it in Europe? Ascola, an alien. Why? Uh, no, no, those manuscripts are in Yemen. So she's studying those manuscripts, which is in Sana, and she's just taking the pictures and comparing that. I can yeah. see you are upset, because it is very upsetting topic. It is very upsetting topic, because it confirms that Quran has been changed and corrupted. And the Quran, which people wrote it down in 7th century, is very different from what you are reading today. Yep. And that is heartbreaking. Again, this is again confirms our point. Sana Palamses, Sana Manitikrem, puts the house Quran, which billions of Muslims are reciting today, to the grave. Well, we should have but a copy of it. Disagree with it. Where is the copy? Go to the Yemen. I go to the Yemen. Go yeah. The Yemen. And all the Yemen, they read the same Quran I read. No. And now, I never heard of a Muslim people in Yemen. They, are they have a different Quran. The Sana manuscript. I said the Sana is a uh, prophet. As they look Sorry? at the Sana she, she wants to pass her uh, studies. She wants to do something. How can you? Um, can we wrap up? So, <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Thank you, Corey, brother. Anyway, wrap this up. As Muslim claims that we've got the perfect Quran. No, they don't. Yeah. No, they don't. Islamic scholars tell us differently. Islamic Dawah is lying. They've got. They don't have one perfect and complete Quran from no. the time of Muhammad. No, they don't. From time of Abu Bakr. Mm -hmm. From time of Uthman. Yeah. But what they have is one of their earliest manuscripts, 38 pages of the Son of Palamses, yeah. disagrees with the current Quran they are reading. The Cairo Quran, yeah? The eternal word of Allah has been changed and corrupted. Yeah. But here's the thing. We look at the Christian scripture. Amen. And Christian scripture tells us there is eternal word of God. Amen. Who is complete and unchanged and he is perfect. The same yesterday, the today. Same from the beginning to end. Amen. He is the same yesterday and he is the same today. today. And what's his name? Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ Christ is the king. We look at the Christian scripture. Christian scripture tells us there is something unique with God of Bible. Yeah. It is the God of Bible who walked and talked with mankind. Who came down. It is the God of Bible who had a food with mankind. Amen. It is the God of Bible who spoke to mankind. Amen. Again, it is the God of Bible. Bible, the eternal word of God came and dwelt among us, us, mankind. Amen. It is the eternal word of God had lunch and shared food with mankind. And he cooked fish as well. It is <laughs> the eternal word of God who died on the cross Amen. for the sin of mankind. Amen. It is the eternal word of God who resurrected and he is seated and waiting for your judgment He's waiting, day. he's waiting. Very simple, just looking at the Quran and how imperfect and how corrupted the Quran is, especially it has given to us by Muslim scholars. Yes, and we're versus, glad we don't have that problem as Christians. Versus comparing that eternal word of Allah yeah. to the Christian eternal word of God. Amen. Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. We see it ends up like this. It is the only Lord 
Jesus Christ, who reigns and he will reign forever and ever. It is the only eternal word of God, Lord Jesus, who gives you the eternal life. Amen. Amen. So come God back bless to you. The eternal word of come God. back to Jesus. Come back home. God bless you. Thank you.